then my HPTs. It's the most romantic day of the year, National Library Lovers Day. Oh, and Valentine's Day, almost forgot. Whether you're coupled up with your soulmate or single and sliding into someone's DMs, we've got plenty of love to go around with our sweet treats trivia. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. And I'm feeling the love back from you guys. Oh, what's this? Chocolates for me, HQTs, you shouldn't have. Oh, you didn't. Is this for Scott? All right, I'll feast on those later. Anyway, I'm Sharon Carpenter, you're a truly amorous presenter at your phone's epicenter. And this is season two of HQ with double the love just for you. We are super sized and full of surprises. You just never know what can happen when we're live, that's for sure. Now last season, of course, tons of you earned billions of points helping you win big bucks. You've asked for more. So we're giving you more for every point earned by players this season. The prize will get huger and huger, and yes, that is a word, until the season finale at the end of this month. Okay, let's feast our eyes on the prize right now. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh, look at that. It now stands at $85,572. And who knows just how high that prize is going to go. Now you win points by answering questions correctly and sharing to social from the HQ app. Points help you reach levels. Leveling up gives you free passes. A free pass keeps you in the game even when you get an answer wrong. The higher your level, the more free passes you have. Maybe you'll make it all the way to level 10. I do hope so, because if you hit level 10, that means you'd only have to answer a few questions correctly to win HQ for the rest of the entire season. And please strap in, because this season we are giving out way more cash than we did the last time around. That's right, a lot of money. Now today, you're playing for $2,500 and a whole lot of points to help you boost your status in the game and level up even faster. Don't forget, extra lives can also keep you in the game. You can buy one now if you see it on your screen and that's how you stay in the game even if you get a question wrong. You can also earn one for free by playing five days in a row. Just one thing, you can't use it on the final round. You know this, right? Okay, do you feel your heart pounding right now, palpitating, pucker up and get ready to tap that answer because it's time to get to the quizzing. Here we go players with Q1. What was regularly written on Neko's sweetheart's candy pieces? Be mine, do not eat, get out. Oh, I am loving the chat today. Nothing but love, I'm sure I'll be your pal. If you're tapped on get out, you already know what to do. Much more romantic, won't you just be mine? And you were mindful of tapping that right answer there, 196,000 of you were. For those of you hoping to shower your love with sweethearts today, bad news I'm afraid. They're out of commission this year. Sour gummy worms will just have to do. They're pretty tasty as well. Now this evening, get out the Manolos and get ready for some serious loving with Sex in the City trivia. So there's no third movie, but this is the next best thing. If you love Carrie, Charlotte, Samantha and Miranda, and we all do, be there at 9 p.m. I can't wait for that. Q2, which historical figure inspired the name of a popular chocolate brand, Joan of Arc, Lady Godiva, Eleanor Roosevelt? If you haven't tried these, you haven't lived. If you have a chalky addiction, this chocolatier offers a subscription. You've never eaten a Roosevelt truffle, have you? But you've definitely had some Godiva, because Lady Godiva is the answer we were looking for. 186,000 of your ladies and gents got that correct. Lady Godiva rode through the streets nude to get her hubby to lower taxes. What is not to celebrate? This Sunday, Wally and Buzz Lightyear are coming out to play. We have got Pixar trivia coming at ya. It's gonna be incredible. So is that 10 Gs that's up for grabs, happening Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern. This is happening now, it's Q3. Red Velvet cupcakes traditionally taste most like which of these flavors? Vanilla, chocolate, Neapolitan. You ever eaten a red velvet cake and wondered, what exactly is this in my mouth right now? It's surprising how color can fool our taste buds. Subtract the decadent cream cheese frosting and you're likely just eating a red colored 
chocolate cake. That's pretty much what it is. And 144,000 of you are chowing down on that. Here's why it might taste like chocolate. It's made with cocoa, that's why, with a little vinegar for an extra kick. Q4. What is on the inside of a classic Ferrero Rocher chocolate? Macadamia, pecan, hazelnuts. Oh, they're so fancy, those Ferrero Rocher chocolates. My favorite. There are a bunch of taste sensations going on in one of these, the Ferrero Rocher. It's like a party in your mouth. And the guest of honor is the hazelnut. You're going nutty over that one, 166,000 of you are. Ferrero Rocher have the most over-the-top commercials for their chocolate. It's good, but not that good. Let's be honest here. Q5. Pastry chef Jacques Dorez is known in the food world by what nickname? Mr. Chocolate, Dr. Sweet, Monsieur Yummy. Man after my own heart. His creations are pretty yummy, but that's not the name he goes by. Keeping things sweet and simple, he's Mr. Chocolate. Sounding like a stripper right there. 96,000 of your milk in that chocolate for all it's got. Mr. Chocolate is the authority on all things sweet. He knows his walnut clusters from his coconut mounds. That's for sure. And so do you. Q6. Exactly two months after Valentine's Day, single people in South Korea often gather to eat what dish? Fish-shaped sweet bread, frozen sticky rice, black noodles. Why, oh why? If you chose frozen sticky rice, we are keeping you in the deep freeze. The consolation for singles who got no love on Valentine's Day, but they do get to eat black noodles. Oh joy, how delicious. And that was a brutal question right there. 69,000 of you made it through. You're twirling those needle noodles around your fork right there. Black Day is exactly two months after V-Day, and I'm sure all those singles can't wait. Q7, Halfway, what cartoon characters first performed the song with the famous lyric, You Are My Candy Girl, Jem, Josie and the Pussycats, The Archies. You are my candy girl. You've heard this before. Three awesome animated bands, but which one had the sweet tooth? Sugar, oh honey, honey. That's right, you candy boys and girls. My honey honeys got that correct. 65,000 of you did. The Archies weren't only successful on the Archie show, they also enjoyed real world success too, and a number one hit. Q8. Which of these is not one of the messages on this year's Love Oreo limited edition cookies? Duncan Love, Dear Cupid, send Oreos. Hi, sweet stuff. What do you know about those limited edition cookies though? Oreos have gotten pretty creative with their romantic messaging this year, skipping the basic high sweet stuff. It's not there, but you're saying hello to the next round, 16,000 of you are, and that was a savage question. Not so sweet here on Q8. We lost 50,000 of your 16,384, made it through. The iconic chocolate sandwich cookies now come with a sweet and tangy strawberry filling. When you're drunk in love, they're perfect to dunk in love and milk as well. Q9, which actors played a character who proposes in a Tiffany's? Channing Tatum, Patrick Dempsey, Eric Banner. Well, if you can't make it to Paris, it's the next best thing, right? Sort of. It's one of the most romantic movie scenes ever. A handsome hunk proposes to you at Tiffany's after hours. What's there to think about? Plus it's Patrick Dempsey. Oh my God. Melanie Carmine. Yes, Patrick, yes, all day, every day. And you said, I do, right there, 17,515, if you do, did. Guys, if you're not sure how to choose the perfect ring, do you like Dempsey and tell her to pick it herself? Might cost you a pretty penny, but I'm sure it's worth it. Q10, which of these is not seen in this music video? Oh, Mandy, is it goldfish, ice water, or candy? 
that you don't get to see in this music video from back in the days. Mandy Moore looks about 12 here and way too young for the subject matter. I'm craving you, I'm missing you like candy, and that's exactly what's missing here. There's no candy in this video. That was a brutal question, 8,391 of you, you found the candy though. Mandy avoided the literal approach. No candy, but that male model is certainly a snack. The penultimate round is Q11. In Friends, what do Janice's candy hearts for Chandler say? Chan and Jan forever. Forever seriously, you can't run. A little scary if you know the, the situation here. You couldn't forget this episode. Chandler couldn't, that's for sure. It was just what Chandler wanted for V-Day. Not candy hearts from the woman he was desperate to escape from that read... Yes. Chan and Jan forever. <laughs> I had to make special. <laughs> Chan and Jan forever and ever and ever. Scary stuff. 6,151 of you escaped the clutches of Q11. Now to show his appreciation, Chan did the unthinkable and broke up with Jan two minutes later. You can't run. You can't hide, because we are heading into the final round with 6,151 players left in the game. Another 1,100 using extra lives to get back here. We've got $2,500 in the bag, and it is a love fest today. Here we are. It's Q12. Good luck, players. In the Elton John song with the lyric, my gift is my song, what does he suggest buying? Art, shiny things, real estate. What does he first suggest buying? Now if my bae told me on Valentine's Day that my gift is his song, I would throw the whole man away. On a more romantic note, Elton does offer something a little more substantial. Shiny things always work well, but instead he suggested prime real estate for the win. And we've got 1,724 winners, you smashed it! <laughs> Congratulations on 1,724 winners today. And that was a total savage there on Q12. You survived two savages. Yes, you did. And you are taking home $1.45. We've got Corinne C. Dub with a big smile. Happy Valentine's Day to you. And congrats on your win. We've got Bree Wallers, uh, Brittany Wall. Uh, who else? M. Hurley as well. Congrats to all of you for scoring all those points today that will help you level up so you can win lots of big cash. And remember, we are giving away way more money than we did last season with lots of surprises on the way as well. So keep your phones really close, HQTs. Well done. You get lots of love from us on that game. You came, you played, and you totally slayed. I'm Sharon Carpenter, and here's where you can find me on the socials. Do not be shy. Stop by. Say hello. And of course, we're back later today at 9 p.m. Eastern with Sex and the City Trivia. Hello, lover. So make sure you've got your Manolos ready for that one. Until then, have an awesome day. See you later. Bye.